So today I, th I thought I'd talk about um, some pretty unusual, rare type of uh, state quarters that have sold recently during Heritage Auctions uh, Dallas Signature Auction. Uh, this was about a month ago up to this point, but it's, it's interesting to note that the quarters that I'm going to show you, and actually uh, three of them had sold, and they're all 1999 state quarters. It's the, uh, actually the first year of the state quarter program. Uh, so as you can see from uh, the Delaware uh, that I have um, pictured here on the screen for you, uh, it's kind of off-colored. Uh, it looks like it, it may have the uh, exposed uh, copper core to it, but it, it's not really the case. Um, if you think back to 1999, uh, the U.S. Mint was experimenting with the, uh, the new manganese alloys for what would be the Sacagawea dollar and uh, some of the upcoming more newer um, uh, native dollars is what they're called now. Uh, so in 99, and apparently all of the, uh, the experimental strikes only existed during the 1999 run. And um, from what uh, it's been told, um, examples of all five coins for that 1999 series do exist on the experimental manganese alloy uh, planchets. So a couple of them have sold here in the last month or so. Okay, we have the Delaware specimen here, which uh, let me go ahead and take my notes out. This particular example sold for almost $3,300. Um, it did grade PCGS Mint State 64. Okay, so it's a relatively top-notch grade for the coin. Probably not as high as it could have been, uh, so, um, I, I'm not going to say that this thing was handled carefully by any means, um, by uh, whoever uh, owned it before, uh, but it looks like it might have seen a little bit of circulation, which would be a little bit strange for such a, an oddball error type of coin. Alright, so uh, here is the, um, the picture of the coin slabbed. All right, as you can see, Mint State 64 struck on the experimental manganese planchet for the $1 coins. And uh, it's also interesting that um, as these have been discovered in, in like uh, bulk um, coin rolls when these first came out. I think one or two of them were discovered. And it's strange that the U.S. Mint would ever release them especially the experimental strikes, you'd figure they'd have a little bit more controlled type of environment where they could just take those back and destroy them, unless they really intended to like release a few just to kind of, um, uh, be because the, the state quarter program had such, such high demand at that point that, hey, you know, if we threw out a few um, oddball type uh, examples that it would, you know, kind of infuse the collector market a little bit and therefore, uh, the collectors, the newer collectors especially, would pay um, for like the men's sets and everything that they were selling. So all of the, uh, the up premium type of um, collectability items through the mint. Uh, so here's the reverse of the coin of uh, the Delaware. Okay, it's a Philadelphia mint. Okay, so all of the experimental strikes only existed in the Philadelphia mint model. So I don't think there was any Denver that's ever shown up. Um, uh, that would be pretty unusual it'd probably be like a, a unique item um, and here is the reverse of the coin in the slab okay pretty neat coin uh, if I'm not mistaken because I, I read about it in one of the forum chat pages that one of these were discovered as recently as about five years ago in pocket change and um, you know at that point a lot of these coins are nice nice and worn and everything else that you know, um, no one would think any better. Think, you know, hey, it's, you know, uh, it's missing the plating or it's uh, pretty dirty. But uh, in any event, in any case, the Delaware is a truly nice specimen. Okay, there was also a Pennsylvania that you'll see right here. That was also sold during the auction uh, during the same time. And then there was a New Jersey. But I'm not going to show you the New Jersey just to keep it brief. The Pennsylvania, as you can see right here, it looks the same as the Delaware. It's got the same look. It graded the same as well. PCGS Mint State 64. This one did sell for a little bit less money. Not a whole lot less, but it did sell close to $2,600 uh, for the same grade. 
okay so all in all uh, it looks like for for these coins uh, there are a number of specimens available out in the marketplace uh, these particular examples uh, sold for what I would say would be top of the market money if they graded any higher you probably won't see any any more of a premium than they already are you're not going to probably see one for ten thousand dollars because of um, the demand has kind of shrunk a little bit on these coins but it's always interesting to know what the coin would look like uh, if it was found in uh, circulation here's a image of the pennsylvania in the slab mint state 64 through pcgs and um here is the, uh, the, the, I would say the obverse of the coin where you have Washington. So this is the obverse of the coin right here. All right, looks pretty neat. Okay, and then we're gonna wrap it up here with the, um, the coin, the obverse of the coin of the Pennsylvania in the slab. So you can see that that designation on there as being um, struck on the experimental planchet. So I wanted to share, you know, a, a couple really neato, you know, error type coins, and um, it's definitely worth mentioning. Okay, e even though these examples are graded and they sold for, you know, several thousands of dollars, it's these type of coins that occasionally pop up in circulation. You never know if you're going to go through rolls, you're going to go through the change jar, or in your pocket change, and possibly find something that looks a little bit strange. Um, again, a, a missing plating type coin would look similar, but not quite because you're talking about copper versus manganese. The copper would just look darker. You're also going to be looking at improperly um, annealed type planchets will, will give it a similar look. And also the experimental rinses, which will give the coin a darker um, appearance. Those type of other errors aren't worth quite as much as the experimental manganese planchet coins, but you know what, it, they're still worth pulling out of change. So uh, I'm glad I was able to share this one with you. And uh, if you guys have any questions whatsoever, please don't hesitate, hesitate to comment. And uh, thank you for watching and you guys have a fabulous day. Take care now.